This is the story of gremlins trapped. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. When Billy Peltzer received a cuddly pet mogwai named Gizmo for a gift, it had seemed like a dream. But through a series of mishaps, the dream had soon transformed itself into a nightmare. Hundreds of evil gremlins had been created, and under the leadership of Stripe, they had swarmed through Kingston Falls, causing mischief, breaking things, and in short, tearing the town apart. The wicked creatures had even managed to hold Billy's girlfriend, Kate, captive in the local tavern. They had trapped her so she could get them food and drink. Then they screeched and threw things at her when she didn't move fast enough. But Billy had parked his car outside the tavern and flooded the place with glare from his headlights. The gremlins' sensitive eyes couldn't take it, and they fell back, letting Kate and Billy escape. The two friends headed down Main Street looking for a place to hide. All around them were examples of the gremlins' destruction. Broken windows, scattered Christmas decorations, even an overturned car. Billy shook his head. This is awful. Let's find a building and get out of the open. They crunched across the snowy street looking for an empty store to hide in. They entered the bank where both of them worked. Kate gasped. Look at it, Billy. It's a wreck. Desks overturned, papers everywhere. What's going on, Billy? Who are those creatures? They're gremlins, Kate. Nasty, rotten gremlins. But where did they come from? Billy pointed to Gizmo in his backpack. From this cute little guy. Can you believe it? I accidentally got him wet, and the next thing I knew, there were five more of him. Then those five tricked me into feeding them after midnight. That's when they turned into gremlins. Then their leader, Stripe, jumped in his swimming pool and bang, we've got a town full of them. Then we've got to do something, Billy. We've got to get rid of them. Well, I'm not quite sure how, but we'll think of a way. Come on. Kate and Billy cautiously stepped outside. There were no gremlins to be seen. The two headed back down the street warily looking for signs of the evil creatures. Billy, the town was packed with gremlins a while ago. Now we can't find a single one. Where did they go? I don't know, Kate. Gizmo popped out of the backpack and sniffed the wind. Then he squeaked and pointed toward the local movie theater. Billy's eyes lit up. Of course. They're all in there. It's almost morning and the daylight can kill them. Kate nodded. So what better place to hide from the sun than in a big, dark movie theater? Billy patted the mogwai fondly. Good work, Gizmo. Slowly, the group approached the building. Billy glanced at the torn posters and the smashed ticket booth. Yep, they're here, all right. Come on. Huh? You mean we're going in there with them? You got it. Billy carefully entered the empty theater lobby. Look at this place, Kate. It looks like a riot just took place. All the candy and popcorn have been taken, and there are cups and wrappers everywhere. Wait, Billy, listen. From inside the theater came loud screeching. Kate and Billy peered through the small window in the theater door. There they are, hundreds of them. Yeah, they've got a movie showing and they're carrying on like spoiled kids. Billy was right. The gremlins were running up and down the aisles, yelling, singing to the music, dumping popcorn on each other and flinging empty candy boxes. They're all in here, Kate. Now's our chance to get rid of them. You used to work here. Where's the boiler room? At the back of the theater. Why? What are you planning? Billy punched his hand. We're going to destroy the theater. 